This is Maddie and Yanni with your Charger Nation news. Okay, can we discuss the topic everyone's been buzzing about? Prom. On April 8th, prom was hosted at the Lander Center. Our students danced all night long and it was a hit. Congratulations to CJ Nelson and Desiree Munez for being crowned prom king and queen. Everyone was definitely dressed to impress. Soccer tryouts were held on April 10th and 11th. Congrats to all who made the 2017-2018 team. Today, Mr. Jones treated National Merit students and students who made a 30 or higher on their ACT to lunch at Texas Day Brazil. We asked Mr. Jones a few questions to see what he really had to say about the students. This is something we started a few years ago to uh, acknowledge um, achievement for the 30 and above wall. Um, national Merit or National uh, Achievement semifinalist or finalist status. And also we recognize our senior ambassadors for their years of uh, of service to the school and the community. The list grows, but uh, right now we got somewhere between 30 and 40 going. Anytime you see someone sacrifice, uh, make a sacrifice of their time, uh, or really have that selfless behavior, I mean, that's uh, rewarding to, to know that they would give of themselves of that, so that's rewarding. But it, also, anytime someone with uh, years of, of hard work uh, hits that status of 30 and above or national merit, it's also very rewarding to see that. Uh, you know, come to fruition. Last Wednesday, our SHS co concert band made a clean sweep, taking home all superior titles with three scores of 135, 139, and 139. They also received the Sweepstakes Award. Percussion won the state championship. Color Guard took home third, receiving a bronze medal. Their final concert would be held in the high school band hall on April 25th. Come out and support our Chargers. Congratulations to Ms. Reynolds' first block class for Pennies for Pasta. Good job, guys. Next Thursday is the academic signing at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Our SHS dance team trials are next Thursday, April 20th, with a dance workshop on April 18th in the gym. All students trying out must have their filled out permission form, parent and student signatures, rules and regulations, copy of insurance card, and sports physical. See Coach Heron in room B103 for packets. This has been Yanni and Maddie with your Charger Nation News. Now sending it over to Shamia with your Charger Nation Sports. Thanks guys. In SHS Golf News, our boys came in second at their county tournament last Tuesday in North Creek. Our SHS track team continued their winning ways as our girls placed first last Tuesday at New Albany track meet. Our boys placed fourth in the same meet a few days ago. SHS track team competed in the district tournament meet located at Center Hill High School. We had 31 athletes qualify for regional and we won first place in 13 events. The regional track meet will be April 22nd in Tupelo. On Monday, April 10th, our SHS baseball team played against Lake Carmer and we won with a score of 5-1. And on Tuesday, our baseball team played all of Branch and lost with a score of 4-0. This past Tuesday, our SHS archery team traveled to Jackson, Mississippi to compete in the Archery State Championship Tournament. Our team placed 10th in the state competition and improved their scores by 120 points, breaking the 3,000 mark. Congratulations! Speaking of state competition, powerlifter Angel Haley is in Jackson, Mississippi today, waiting to compete in the state tournament tomorrow. We had a chance to speak with Angel about her powerlifting before she left to compete. Wisdom, strength and determination are all words that describe women. You may not think that we have what it takes. You're right, we have more than what it takes. And saying, oh, a girl can't do that doesn't intimidate us one bit. Our South Haven High student, Angel Haley, is one reason why. Angel Haley has magnificent grades and is an honor student. She participates in tennis and accepted a soccer scholarship attending to Northwest Community College. She is persistent and hardworking. Angel Haley has a big impact on our generation of girls and anyone wanting to follow their dreams. All it takes 
is having the mindset to keep pushing yourself no matter what you face. I'm here with Angel Haley from the Girls Powerlifting Team. Are you okay with answering a few questions? Sure. How do you prepare for powerlifting? Well, I work out like third or fourth block like three times a week and how I prepare, I add more and more weight to see if I can do it and if I can't, that's how I know that's my max. Does your persistence affect your other teammates? I, I say yes because people like the, my teammates, they'll look, they'll look at me and see like as much weight as I do. And if they see that I keep pushing myself, they'll try to do the best they can and keep pushing themselves. What are your top rankings? Well, I, my top rankings is second place. I came in second in both uh, regionals and north half. But I fell a little short in regionals by 25 pounds. But I also tied in first place for in north half with a total of 840 pounds. What advice would you give to a beginner? Um, my advice would be you should always keep pushing yourself and never think that you're too weak. You just need to be ready to, you know, lift some weight and become stronger. Does eating play a big role in powerlifting? Um, to me, eating don't play a big role. I'm, I mean, I just eat what I can, but during the competition, I'll make sure I have something in my system so I can like burn calories or anything. But I know one thing that you shouldn't eat is hot chips. Hot chips, you can feel it during the competition or during practice because it will burn. What's your advice on how to keep pushing forward? Um, just keep working hard, never give up. Just be ready just to become stronger. I mean, that's all that you can do. How do you feel about going to state? I feel so good. I mean, this powerlifting is, wasn't a sport that I was intending on doing, but everybody, like principals and coaches and everybody was telling me I should do it. And I was like, hey, you know what? I got the strength. I should try it. And now I'm going to state, and I just feel so good about it. I'm just so happy. Good luck, Angel. Today we have a softball game against DeSoto Citra here at home. Game starts at 5. Come out and support our Chargers. Tomorrow we have a home baseball game versus Horn Lake. JV plays at 5 and Varsity plays at 7. On Saturday, April 7th, our boys have a home basketball game versus Horn Lake at 5.30. Good luck, Chargers. This has been Shamir with your Charger Nation Sports. Now sending it over to Austin with your weather. Thanks, Shamir. This is Austin with your weekend weather. This Friday is going to be a high of 81 and a low of 64. This Saturday is also going to be a high of 81, but a low of 65. Ending off this beautiful weekend, with a rainy day, but a high of 79 and a low of 66. Thank y'all, and this has been Austin, signing out.